Hello, I am David. I have Asperger's or mild autism and I wanted to walk you through some traits about Asperger's for those that might want to know more or understand more whether they want have it or not or know someone that has it. So I have a list. I'm going to kind of glance on a piece of paper and I'm going to give you some examples from my own life. For one, fixation. Fixation. I would sometimes complain about something a lot when I was younger, but in my mind I wasn't complaining. I was just really fixated and just thinking about it nonstop. And I had people to tell me to quit complaining. It's part of OCD. And a big thing with Asperger's people is if you try to change the subject with one, they'll probably not realize you're trying to do that. They have problems with, you know, hints and not really seeing the body language that you're uncomfortable, that you're trying to change the subject. They just see that you know, they want to talk about something and you're, you're, you're being rude and then they'll maybe talk about what they want to talk about and things like that. And compulsive behavior, um, I've heard a lot of kids with autism will do stimming or, you know, touching their crotch or whatever. I know for me, I picked my left arm and my blackheads a lot and I had all this scar tissue for a while. And I also had restless leg syndrome and one leg would kind of go up a lot um, while I was sitting down on my left leg. And regular eating habits, I eat oatmeal like every morning, like I, I, I have oatmeal and yogurt I eat all the time. I don't like to cook, I have an aversion to it, I don't like to do it. Anything that I have to take more than two minutes to prepare in the microwave, I don't like to eat. That's just how I am. I just like certain things, but I'll eat anything, I'm just too lazy to cook. And anxiety attacks, yeah, um, I used to have a lot of anxiety when I was driving or test taking, that's why I had to take tests privately get anxiety build up and um, you usually have like one hobby growing up, one area of interest. Um, for me it was video games but this isn't like a normal boy video game obsession like it was my whole world and universe it was like my escape from the world. I had this little passage from the Wikipedia page I wanted to read. The lack of demonstrated empathy is possibly the most dysfunctional aspect of Asperger's Syndrome. Individuals with AS experience difficulties in basic elements of social interaction, which may include a failure to develop friendships or to seek shared enjoyments or achievements with others, for example, showing others objects of interest, a lack of social or emotional reciprocity, and impaired nonverbal behaviors in areas such as eye contact, facial expression, posture, and gesture. So I broke this down a little bit. Empathy, like I would say things and not realize that it was rude. I couldn't see what it was like to the other person. This sort of numbed me wanting to be social with people because I just kept screwing up and I would say things that would make people uncomfortable, but for me it was a normal thing to say. And so there were times where I just wanted to be a loner because it was easier because I kept screwing up all the time. That was, when I, that was when I was younger though. Lack of shared enjoyment. Um, I found that I lacked the spontaneity and flow of normal conversation and um, I couldn't really joke around with them because I didn't really think spontaneously. Like, Asperger's people I think really have to think in the moment and I'm thinking of like the last thing they were talking about that I wanted to talk about. You really gotta just, you know, keep on the pace of the conversation and that's that's something that I suffered with Asperger's. But, um, keeping... And, uh... Yeah, my humor was more eccentric and more weird and it's gotten me in trouble in awkward situations and I've sort of had to learn how to how to read whether people are going to respond appropriately to what I want to say or not and when to keep my mouth shut. Learn, learn people over time. Um, failure to develop friendships. Um, spontaneous, okay. I mean, one thing. Yeah, I'd only want to talk about video games when I was a kid. That was one thing too. Nonverbal social behaviors. I had eye contact problems. I couldn't look people in the eye whatsoever. I was very nervous around people. And um, I couldn't make eye contact for a long, long time. I didn't even realize that I wasn't really doing it, but people would tell me. And I also had social anxiety, and that added to it. Um, facial expression. I didn't smile like whatsoever when I was a kid. I felt like something had to make me smile, and I, I didn't really realize I could smile a little bit. I thought like something would make me smile a big smile, and I just would never smile, and it was creepy for people. But I didn't really think that way. It's in my mind, it just was impossible to do it. And posture. I had terrible posture growing up, and I would look at my feet a lot, and I developed some back problems in part because of that and some scoliosis. But I just carried myself weird. I felt uncomfortable with my own skin and even walking and didn't know what to do with my hands and stuff and started cracking my knuckles. And when I'd, when I'd walk, I guess I didn't even move my arms at all because at the security gig, people started calling me Rain Man because I wouldn't move my arms. 
Um, if any of those sound familiar to you, it's possible you have a little bit of autism. Sometimes people have autism or Asperger's, which is mild autism, and not realize it. I hope this is helpful, and if anybody has any more questions, I'd like you to let me know. Thank you.